Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo and in this video you are going to learn about a very advanced regular expression feature that many people don't know about. What is that feature? Is recursive regular expressions. Recursive regular expressions. So again, it is for advanced uh, regular expressions. If you don't know what a Ruby regular expression is, you can still watch this video, but you might have a hard time understanding what's going on, okay? But if you like, if you already know regular expressions and if you want to learn some advanced concept, then you're going to love this video. So right here I have a regular expression. Uh, like, my, like most advanced or complex regular expressions, this looks it can be it can look a bit intimidating, right? So the first thing I want to do is to show you an example of what is regular expression does, what does it match, right? What's intended to match. And the name of this constant we already give you a um, hint. So what are balance parents? So this means balance parentheses. Balance parentheses. Well, you can have a string like this. Uh, it can contain a set of parentheses. And the parentheses can be balanced or unbalanced, right? So balance means that we have the same amount of opening and closing parentheses, and that the opening parentheses come before the closing parentheses, right? So that's what a balance set of parentheses is. And you can have other things that are not that are not uh, parentheses inside the parentheses. That doesn't really matter, right? So with this regular expression, we can match and find out whether this string has a set of correctly balanced parentheses or not. With a normal regular expression, this would not be possible, but with this kind of regular expression, it's possible. And we will see an example right now of how this works. So first let's create two sets, one of balance and another of unbalanced parentheses, okay? So you, we can see the, how this works. So the unbalance, we just delete one of the closing parentheses and that makes it unbalanced, right? Now, if we try to match this with the match question mark method, which is new in Ruby 2.4 or 2.5, I'm not sure which one, but it's very new method. I believe it's 2.4, Ruby 2.4. And it will give you like all methods that end with a question mark or most methods that end with a question mark. It will give you true or false, true or false. It's called a predicate method, right? I know uh, what do we give it? Well, we give it our regular expression, which we are going to break down in a moment to explain exactly what's going on. Right now, I just want to show you it working so we can get a sense of what it does. So here we go. We're going to we're going to print this, and you can see that balance prints true because it's indeed balance parentheses, right? And Unbalanced prints false because it's not balanced and therefore it doesn't match our regular expression. Okay, so that's what this matching. Now, with that context, now we can look at how this works exactly in detail. And I'm sure that you're going to enjoy that. So, to do that, uh, you have to know, or maybe you already know that you can separate the regular expression in multiple lines. 
and that's why I have this x. So this x at the end is what allows you to put the regular expression in multiple lines. And what al that allows you to do is to make it nicer, easier to read, especially for these more advanced and more complex regular expressions. So let's do that. This should still work and it does. So we can keep breaking this down. Let's see. This is going to be something like this. So let's see what's going on in here. The first thing that matters here is this slash a. So this slash a, it just means match from the start of the string. So match starting with the first character, right? So that makes sense that we have this. And the z is match until the end of the character. So we're matching from the start to the end. And we might want to make sure that the parentheses are like this, right? So that's slash a and slash z, choose start and end of the string. Now the next bit of the regular expression, this where it gets a bit more complex, is this question mark parent. What is this? Well, this question mark parent, it defines what's called a, a name group. So in regular expressions, you can name, give names to part of your parts of your regular expression. That way you can reference them by name, that specific part of the regular expression. And in this case, the part is where we're opening these parentheses and where we're closing these parentheses. So this is not the literal parentheses that we're looking for. This is part of the regular expression syntax, right? Uh, this is called a capture group, and we're capturing the parentheses, and we're calling this parent. Uh, the name doesn't really matter. It can be parentheses if you like to use the full name or whatever you want, right? So that's the first part. Next, we have this right here. Now, we need to zoom in a little bit in here. Let's see. So you can clearly see this. This part right here, this is the literal parenthesis, the literal parenthesis. Why? Because this slash, then the parenthesis, right? So this slash is saying, Hey, this is not regular expression syntax, syntax. This is a literal opening parenthesis. And same thing here, this is a literal closing parenthesis. So right here we have, if we review, we have a start of the string, end of the string, um, capture group that we call paren, end of the capture group, and uh, start of the literal open in parentheses, so that will be one of these, and the closing parentheses, literal closing parentheses, so that will be one of these, right? Now, here is where it gets really interesting. This bit right here, right? This means match, or rather this bit that I have highlighted right now, that means match everything, match everything that's not an opening parenthesis or a closing parenthesis. Let me say that again. This part means match everything that's not an opening character, I mean an opening parenthesis or a closing parenthesis. So that means if we 
match the whatever text or numbers or anything that you have inside the parentheses, right? That's why we have that. And then we have this, this last part. And this is where the really magic, I'm doing air quotes because not really magic, but it feels like magic if you don't know what's happening, right? So this last G, then paren, which is the same that we have there. What this means is match the same pattern as many times as possible. So the pattern is this itself. The pattern is itself the same thing. That's why it's, this is called a recursive program expression because just like a recursive method, a recursive method is a method that calls itself, right? A recursive program expression, it matches itself. It matches parts of itself. What does that mean? Well, what that means is that if we go in this balance parenthesis, that's, that means that we can have balance parenthesis within balance parenthesis within balance parenthesis like that. And it can be an infinite uh, number of deepness or, or depth, whatever you call it. You can keep going. That's what I meant. And because it said like this with the star symbol, it means repeat in regular expressions. We're repeating this slash G means recourse, repeat this group, which is this, the sub expression, and then keep looking for it as many times as possible, right? So that's what makes this work. And that's the whole trick to this. This is the whole uh, regular expression. As you can see, when you break it down like this into smaller pieces, it's easy to understand what's happening. Just look at the individual parts, and then you look how everything works together. So that's recursive regular expression. What makes this recursive? is using this slash g and then making a reference to, to itself, right? So itself is all of this. Um, besides that, it's just a normal. There is nothing more special than that. So I hope you found this interesting. If you want to really understand this and um, play around with this yourself, and also read about recursive methods and recursive uh, functions, okay? If you like this video, please click the like button for me so I know that you like it and so more people can find this video. And if you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos now on this YouTube channel. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet, so you can keep getting more videos like this. And visit my website, rubyguides.com, rubyguides.com. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.